All right, now let's figure out how to how to crank this thing up and down. If I just had like a big wheel. Hold on a second. Oh, what is that right there? It's a wheel from a dirt bike, I think. Kind of from the junkyard. Can I attach that? I, I might be able to connect that. Oh, if only that pipe was a little smaller. I, I think I can get that on there. Well, that would, that would be a pretty good move. Okay, connect this to here. I guess step one is get all this grease and crap out of here. Let's clean it up so we can see what we're dealing with. All right, this hole in here, it tapers. It gets skinnier toward the other end. And I think there's a piece that's like an insert in there. Hoping maybe if I get like a, a nice chisel and maybe I can... Oh, it rests on the edge there. Yeah, maybe I can knock out that piece. All right, I don't know how these work, but come on, luck. Well, that is not moving at all. All right, do I go online and try to look up how these are put together? Or, I don't want to deal with the internet. I leave my internet off most of the time and I always feel better when it's off all day. So let's just see if we can figure it out. Oh, I'm starting to think this taper is right built in like mold, like it's all just one piece. Oh, all right, maybe I can, maybe I can snap off a little chunk and see if it breaks off inside or if it's when I was scraping along here, I couldn't find a seam. All right, let me just snap off a little bit and see where it breaks. Maybe I'll... Oh, there's like no seam in there at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the taper is just built into the piece. Okay, that makes it a lot harder to attach. I'm less excited about this thing now. But let me just see if I can work something out. Well, that's kind of stupid, but it does fit. So I guess I'll put a few rivets in there and yeah, I'll call it good enough. That's a nice handle. sufficient strength to lift up the entire saw, which is a lot heavier than this little thing. It's pretty easy to lift right now. And then supposedly, put the saw on here, and we'll lift it up and down. Last thing is the wheels. Oh, wheels. What are wheels? What am I going to do for them? Is that right? Okay. Saw goes up and down. It goes that way and that way. It swivels. Oh, it doesn't lock in place when it swivels, though. Oh, I gotta do that. Okay, so I gotta lock the place, the, the saw in place when it swivels up, which I don't think that's gonna be hard to do. And then, yeah, I think the last thing, other than finding tune-ups and stuff, but the last thing is to put wheels on the bottom here, on the four corners that will Ride along some kind of track. Oh, this thing looks gorgeous. I, I gotta admit, I really like this wheel. <laughs> this is probably one of those touches where people are gonna come up and say, ah, oh, it looks like such a beautiful thing, but this wheel looks like it's from the junkyard. And I'm gonna be like, dude, most of this is from the junkyard and I like the wheel, so go away. <laughs> All right. All right, what, what kind of track am I doing and what kind of wheels? You know what? I better test this thing with some weight on it before I trust that it's just going to be good. All right, this thing weighs like 
about 40 pounds. I don't know if I get up here. I want to put 100 pounds on this to make sure it's fine. No, no, let's just see if it's 40 pounds. Oh, that's a piece of cake. Yeah, no problem. 40 pounds lopsided weight, too. Because the weight of the saw is going to be in the middle, and this is all off to the side. All right. I want to put 100 pounds on here. That's got to be pretty close to the weight of the saw. It's about 100 pounds or so. All right, what else can I put on here? Okay. That's got to be pretty close to 100 pounds. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, no problem. I mean, I could double that weight. Yeah, I think to be able to hold the saw uh, without issue. Right. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, I bet I could get on that, actually. I would, I would bet a million dollars I can get on that, raise myself up and down right now. Not that I have a million dollars. You know. I'd bet a million nothings. Oh, that's beautiful. One of the things I love about this wheel is that it has all these spokes, obviously. Now, why are the spokes so useful? Well, I'm gonna be able to, once I start cutting wood and stuff, I'm gonna be able to count spokes to, to know how much I'm adjusting the height of this thing. So, I don't know what it is right now, but like, just let me just look real quick. Okay, that's roughly a two by four. Yeah, like a quarter turn is like, like two inches almost. And I can see this, yeah, I can, I can just count spokes. I can be like, all right, I just did a cut there. I want to move up like whatever centimeters or whatever, count the right number of spokes. I'm just going to measure my wood by spokes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like, that's a 16 by 12. 16 by 12, what? Spokes. Yeah. And maybe I'll mark, mark uh, get my permanent marker out and put some little marks on here to help keep track of everything. But yeah, I'm just gonna measure all my wood by, by number of spokes I have to move before I connect this back on. Mm -hmm. Go up a little, down a little. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, watch out. Can I do it? Yeah. Hold it, well, you're not strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put both of you on at the same time. I, I don't want it to break. Let it 